So we're driving to a location to fly the Mavic again. I calibrated a few things because uh, the last time I flew it, it actually had some real shaky, unusable footage. And uh, so I calibrated the IMU and the gimbal. Uh, that was what I contacted DJI. That's what they recommended me doing. And if that doesn't fix the problem, I would have to send it in to them to get it uh, to get it replaced. So I hope that's not the case because I don't want to have to go for whatever how long it will take to get the thing back. Probably a couple weeks, uh, but we'll see. So stay tuned. <laughs> oh yeah we're gonna have to fix this one Mavic good job DJI what a way to uh, satisfy your customers let's send them a couple of garbage products out there why can't I get the one that was full of gold no I got the one that was covered in shit that's what happened you know make some good batches they make some bad batches they put gold in some they put shit on the other and I got the one with shit on it Man. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> but yeah I contacted DJI they told me what to do I did it it still doesn't didn't fix the problem so I'm going to have to send it back and then they'll have to fix it and then hopefully in a timely manner get it back to me hopefully sometime before 2018 that would be nice Mavic or I'm DJI I'm gonna ask you something you gave me the product with shit I wanted the one with the gold can I at least have it back by 2000 before 2018 it would be really cool to fly this thing during the summer right now the, sh the weather sucks so I'm not like missing out on capturing really cool footage plus it's been unflyable conditions but uh, yeah let's just see what happens and I will be sure to keep you guys posted on all of this alright I hope none of you guys out there get the same thing that I have because it's no fun but Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and we will see what happens. Okay, well, I wanted to take a minute and talk about why I think my Mavic might be a bad Mavic. Because, first off, boy, it sure is echoey in here. Um, when I first got this thing, I noticed that it was this one. is that the thing? That doesn't. Okay, so um, I was gonna go over something that I had remembered the day I got this Mavic, and when I had first pulled this out of the box and removed this bubble cover, this this lens lens cover. Um, this a piece of plastic actually that was supposed to be on the back of the camera had just fallen out of the packet or out of the cover and I thought I was like what in the hell was that so um, then after I re removed this plastic guard out of the back of the gimbal then I had noticed that there was actually this this piece of plastic here that was missing that's supposed to cover these these wires um, 
which kind of I found was odd, but wasn't a big enough of a deal for me to contact DJI and tell them to get me a new Mavic, which now I kind of think I probably should have, seeing the problems I'm getting with the footage. So anyways, point being in this video, I, f I felt it would be kind of kind of useful to share that uh, if you guys maybe have noticed that with a drone that you might get in the future or that you've gotten, uh, could be a small possibility that you might have the same problem. It probably was something from the factory when they put it together, they bust it loose and then during packaging it had, uh, un in the meantime while it was being shipped here it had fallen off. Uh, I mean, it, for the most part, the, the drone didn't really show any more damage. It wasn't like they did drop it or it was mishandled in, in any way. It doesn't have scratches. It was, looked brand new. It had all the stickers and stuff on it. But I think definitely there's something to be said about this one. It probably did get a little bit banged up or just not manufactured correctly, uh, which is causing the problem that I'm getting now. So.